Sci Tai Tech. In a previous video, I have removed an infrared filter from a GoPro lens, and by doing that allows me to be able to film in the infrared spectrum. In this project, what I want to do is I want to upgrade this infrared GoPro camera to be able to film in the dark, basically turning this into an infrared night vision camera. So let's get started. For this upgrade, I have right here this lens attachment that goes on this GoPro camera. And I'm going to attach an infrared 1000 nanometer infrared filter. And what this filter does, it actually blocks out all types of light except for infrared. That's all it takes to be able to see only in infrared. So let's go ahead and test it out and see what it looks like with the lens and without the lens. This is what it looks like without the lens. Now placing it with the lens, it actually looks a little bit more spooky and more interesting. Even looking at myself looks kind of strange and kind of, kind of scary looking, almost ghostly. Look, those of you who are Bleach fans, it kind of makes me look like, uh, like Ichigo's hollow version of himself. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Even my eyes look a little white. And this is what it looks like without the filter. And this is what it looks like with the filter. I also found this interesting. I can actually see through my sunglasses. So, sunglasses do not block infrared light, but they block only UV light. Now you saw what it looks like to film with and without the filter. Now let's go ahead and upgrade this by using this 5 LED light circuit. And I'm going to remove those five LED lights from this circuit and replace it with the infrared LEDs that came from different types of remote controls that I have salvaged. And all of these infrared LEDs are going to be removed and replaced on this LED circuit. So let's get started doing that. Basically what I'm going to do is just desolder all of those LEDs. And desolder all of the regular LEDs and I'm desoldering this switch because I'm going to put in a new switch. I'm going to use this wire here to close the circuit on the switch. So I'm going to attach a new switch, not to that section of the circuit, but somewhere else. Solder the wires to make a closed circuit. And there we go, it's closed. Now it's time to remove all of the original LEDs and replace them with the new infrared LEDs. And as you can see, I've placed a 1K ohm resistor. Originally there was a 10 ohm resistor. The reason why I put such a higher value of resistance is because infrared LEDs are far more sensitive than regular LEDs. If I left the 10 ohm resistor, the infrared LEDs would have just burnt out. Or, of course, I could have used lower voltage, but I'd rather use a 9 volt battery because in my opinion, 9 volt batteries are more easier to use and they're more compact. So I'm going to go ahead and solder the 9 volt battery connector onto this circuit. And now let's go ahead and test it out. Right now I'm currently filming with a camera that can film in night vision and of course see in infrared. So let's go ahead and test it out. Ah, there you have it. 
You can see the infrared LEDs. And here it is in night vision mode of my camera, and you can see they all light up. With your own eyes, you cannot see this, but the camera can, which I find very interesting. Now it's time to get the switch ready. And it's a simple circuit. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut one of these wires from the nine volt battery connector. I choose a negative wire, why not? And then solder the wires in to the circuit and that way the switch can just turn the circuit on and off. Very simple and basic. Now put the housing back in, glue it into place. And there you have it, the circuit is now complete. Now I'm going to go and start building a housing out of wood. And there you have it, the housing is complete, and now I'm going to go and glue it to my GoPro. And there you have it. This device is now complete. So now let's go ahead and test it out and see what it looks like. Okay, so now this is what it looks like to film in the dark with an infrared camera and with those infrared LEDs from a remote control. It kind of works, in my opinion. It doesn't look too good. There's too much noise in the footage and it doesn't really light up as well as I expected. It needs improvement. It needs some improvement. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it with some different LEDs. Well, that's too bad, very disappointing. So what I wanna do is remove those infrared LEDs and upgrade it by adding these larger infrared LEDs. And these larger infrared LEDs are much bigger, much brighter, and that should allow me to be able to film better in the dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace these tiny little infrared LEDs with these larger ones. There we go. I have removed all of the small infrared LEDs and replaced them with these bigger ones. Now this obviously looks like it's gonna work much better. As you can see the comparison is obviously much better and you can tell this may work much better because of the size difference. Bigger sometimes is better. So now let's go ahead and test it out. This is pretty cool. I actually think this is really, really cool. But yeah, unfortunately, I did my best to try to make this work by adding five of those large infrared LEDs. It worked, but not to my full expectation. It worked, but not to my full expectation, unfortunately. But hey, we can film my night vision vlogs. Okay, at least I can do that. Or examine things that are about maybe two meters away. Well, you can kind of see that, that bush right there. Or that log right there. Let's see what can find out. That log and that bush right there. It's close to three meters. But farther I go like that, it disappears. Slightly closer. Yeah, it only works when you're really, really close. Well, yeah, you can see the grass really close. That looks pretty cool. So yeah, basically, um, I'm gonna stop for now because this video is already going pretty long. I think this is about maybe over 10 minutes at least longer. And uh, I think I'll just make a whole new brand new fresh video after this one later on with more of a designed upgrade. I have a bunch of these uh, infrared LEDs so I may do something different where I like make a whole bunch of them lined up in a long line in series where they uh, project the light even brighter and maybe a little wide maybe I'll add lens to them so that might be much brighter. Uh, spread it out, or spread out uh, the light, so it will look much nicer and much better. 
Sorry about the audio, I just want to protect headphone users because this is going to get really, really loud. That's pretty good up close. <laughs> Goodbye.